you know, a 4v5 situation if you lose a man early on. Yep, definitely. And... Uh... MVP is really gonna gonna struggle a bit in this this match, I think, despite being um, uh, so so such a good team in the in this league. It's it's really gonna be a tough match. These are both monstrous teams. Indeed, and uh, looking at the knife round here, it is a three v. Make that a one v two situation. You're aiming all alone. He's got the help, and he's gonna get taken down by Zach, and it's gonna be Skyra taking the knife round pretty comfortably. A triple kill coming in from Zach, and I think uh, all right, Skyra opting to go for the T side. Interesting. And they're going to be play, playing to the strengths here. The T side was pretty good. Usually, you are uh, looking at a meta in Dust2, you do expect teams nowadays to start on a CD side, especially when, uh, you know, especially when most of the teams nowadays prefer playing on a CD side on uh, Dust2. But uh, let's see what they're going to do here. Yeah, definitely. But Sky Red, though, they're. Uh, they're a different team. They want to start out on this T side. This is this is their strength when it comes to the games. Um, this is going to be the uh, my preferred side to watch because Sky Red, they're going to be playing uh, with that aggressive style, and MVP is just going to have to do everything they can to hold on. Buckle in, everyone. And here we go. It's going here live go. here, and uh, we have Eamon, a little aggressive and short here. Just all the nade down Tukon, but the nade not catching Tukon out, not doing much damage. But Deville is pretty low in health here, low in just health. 24 health points. And uh, Eamon, though, very, very aggressive. Over in short, while well, Deville has fallen back to back CD to spawns. And, uh, nothing at Eamon getting spotted out. I think I can hear myself through your, uh, through your mic, Dorison. I'm getting a. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They could just reduce that a bit. In the meantime, though, here we go. He's going. Eamon at short, spotting a man out. He's going to get pushed by uh, Dark Lord, ripping the head off Eamon, making it a 4v5 here, and they're pushing it to short as they have two men to contend with. And it's going to be Deville who manages to take the head off Zach, although he gets taken down by Dark Lord. There's a man still inside. That's IMS. Only on two health points. He is going to get found out by Dark Lord, and it's going to be the side in control with Sky right here as two Con and Shadow Walker finishes things off. And that's going to be a very. A uh, comfortable round in the end for Skyred, just losing one man in the process and taking the T side pistol round. Yeah, hardly any nades used even. Like, that was really Skyred just overrunning MVP on the A site. Indeed, and MVP though, they are not going to waste any time here going for the pistol armor buy. And we do have Deville with the uh, with the scout. So let's see what he can do with that. He spots a man in T-spawn. Not able to tag him down though. And just give me a second here. It looks like my game just uh, all tabbed out. Oh, there we go. We're back in. And Sky Red playing is very safe. They know that MVP do like to go for these armor pistol buys. And w w what do you feel about the Tech 9 nerf? I know like Valve just nerfed it down a little bit to 24 bullets, but I still feel it's you know still a long way to go for that gun before it becomes you know more balanced, so to speak. Uh, yeah, I, I do agree that there's a ways to go for, for balancing the gun. MVP, I think, is actually very good at uh, exploiting it, but this round, no Tech 9s for MVP. Indeed, they're just going for these uh, AKs and Galils and Falama, because ever since the buff came in for the SMGs, they have looked way more uh, way more of a viable weapon from compared to earlier. And uh, let's see here again, another short push coming in from Skyred. Zach leading the way here. Nades coming in, it's spraying down on ACAP. ACAP using the cover properly, and Eamon getting caught on top of the smoke. Zach takes on ACAP, and that's a 3v5. Make that a 3v4 here as IMS takes on CLB, but two counter replies back almost immediately with a frag on the My Deal. And it's a 2v1 here, and it's gonna be Deville with the scout. He's gonna spot out Tukon, and Tukon's gonna take him down. It's IMS now all alone, 1v3, bombs down, and it just has a 5-7 to play, but it's already got a double kill. Can he do more? And. Looks like he's just going to try and hold on to his 5-7 uh, here and probably go for an exit frag. But another round here. But losing two men, but they should be pretty happy with that. They got the bomb down as well. And uh, it's going to be 2-0 here to Sky Red. As MVP will now be forced to go for the full eco. <laughs> Unless they surprise all of us and go for another force buy. But I really do doubt they're going to do that. Yeah, that, that round again. Look at Sky Red not using any nades. Um, they're making a strong statement by taking these sites without use of nades, and uh, that does show a lot of confidence, but I don't know, I don't even think they needed to lose those those two members if they'd used some more flashes and um, uh, 
been just a bit safer in their play. Indeed. And they... you saw MVP mm -hmm. there tried to, to to rotate on time, and I thought they did a pretty good job of that, but um, uh, just with pistols, they just couldn't handle Sky Red. Indeed, and uh, you, you're right there. They really didn't have... Need to have lost his two members, but uh, nonetheless, it's uh, CLB. He's got his hands on Uzi, and he knows they're on full eco here. As MVP, we've got IMS pushing it really aggressively here, and it's gonna be Zach. He's gonna be seeing some action. Meanwhile, the IMS takes down Zach. Dark Lord replies by two quick kills on aim, and then IMS. And meanwhile, Shadow Walker finds my deal. But Deville, he's still lurking there in lower dark. I don't think they know that. But it just has a P2000 to play with. As Dark Lord getting spotted out there at mid. And Nate's gonna come and gonna do massive damage to ACAP. No, it's not. He's gonna be able to get out of there before the Nate lands. And look at Deville here, just looking at that corner. Dark Lord has no clue, but he's gonna get found out. He's gonna rip his head off, although he did massive damage to Dark Lord. And it's gonna be Shadow Walker finishing things off. And it's gonna be 3 0 here to Sky Red, as it's gonna be the first buy round coming out for MVP Gaming. And, uh,. Ooh, we're gonna be seeing a glass cannon here, or not? Yeah, Deville getting dropped the op by IMS, and IMS just gonna go for the uh, naked M4 buy. No armor, just a couple of flashes. And this is gonna be such an important round for MVP, and especially on Deville. He's gotta do something with the op here. Definitely. And this is gonna be a round where Skyred can't get away with not using any nades as they, they try to get openings into the site. Here come mm -hmm. some flashes. Look at the long play coming in though. Tukon gets one. Zach takes on ACAP and that's long. Completely in control but Sky Red. And what the hell happened there? Uh, MVP not even to do a sliver of damage onto the rampaging Sky Red players over here in long. And that just leaves one man inside of side. That's IMS. My Deville though takes on Dark Lord. Makes it a 4v3 here. But we got four members here coming in. Slowly walking in and IMS has got to do some huge work here. Gets flashed back, he spots one, takes out Tukon, but there's a man right behind him here, and he's gonna get his head ripped off by Zach, but Deville alive there, bad smoke coming in from Sky Red, but another smoke's gonna block off that little opening he had. 2v2 situation, still could go either way, as the bomb is gonna go down, Shadow Walker, the looking and long, he's gonna find My Deal coming out any moment right now, My Deal comes jumping and running out, and Shadow Walker's gonna find him out, all down to Deville here, 1v2 situation, he has the op as well, this is gonna be pretty tough for him, goes with a scopeless, but he's not gonna find Zach, as Zach takes him down, Gets a triple kill as well, and it's gonna be 4-0 for Sky Red. Starting very strong here on Dust2. I don't like MVP's decision to put two players uh, closer to pit there, because as you saw, Sky Red with their aggression, they just uh, easily took that over, and MVP didn't need to take uh, such a risk on an, an important round like that. Indeed, and now, pretty much uh, screw for money. Ooh, Zach tagging down Deville at 19 health points. And. Uh, now the eco round coming in from MVP. They do have a CZ few P250 to play with. And uh, CLB though is going to take down IMS with a nade. And this should be another pretty comfortable round for Sky Red unless they uh, <laughs> completely mess it up. But Shadow Walk meanwhile takes on my deal. This is looking quite bad here for MVP. It's going to be 5-0 to Sky Red very, very soon. Amen though. Ooh, gets caught up by Zach. And all done to Deville and ACAP. They're pretty low in health as well. So ACAP looking there. In the double doors. He's got the CZ. And he's got a peek out. Takes on Tukon. That's one man down for Sky Red. But uh, they should be very comfortably able to go for this play here. A side's wide open and they're making the right call. Going to A. Going to get the bomb down very soon. And uh, just going to leave ACAP. He has his hands on the AK. He picked off of uh, Tukon. But they have one man to contend with, the Shadow Walker. Waiting the corner, he takes on Deville. And it's gonna be ACAP that replies back almost immediately with a frag of his own on the Shadow Walker. He's the last man left alive, and CLB spraying for all his words, and takes down ACAP. And that's gonna be round number five for Sky Red. Just losing two men in the process. And uh, they have built up a pretty substantial economy as well. $12,000 in Shadow Walker. But the remaining members have an average of about uh, $6,000. And now though, full buy round coming out from MVP. And they have got to make this count right now. Definitely, definitely. This is this is another important round. MVP's got to stop Sky Red's train from rolling on forward. And Deville smoking off lower dark, going for the trying to go for the aggressive uh, mid peak, but he's going to fall back. While Zach with the AWP. they're playing this very very passively, not really contesting mid control. Neither of the teams really contesting mid control. Zach 
plane. A very, very safe angle. He knows that uh, MVP should have bought an AWP right now. Right now, though. You gotta like the way Skyrider are playing. He's just playing it very, very slow, very passively, not going aggressive at all right now. They do know it's a very important round for MVP. Not taking any chances. As uh, Tukon making his way from lower dock. Trying to flash out mid. There are two men waiting for him there. That's my deal. And, no and another Malaysian just setting up a crossfire there. Here we go. Just coming in. Tukon. He's gonna catch my deal. No, he doesn't. But there's a man waiting for him. Maim and takes on Tukon. Tukon pushing in. But Zach replies back almost immediately with a frag of his own. Equalizing things. 4v4 situation here. That's my deal. Just on two health problems. But Deville takes the head of Shadow Walker. Instant brain surgery there. And they're gonna go for the CD spawn smoke. As the Deville oh, takes Deville. on Sealable. Huge play coming up in Deville when it absolutely matters. And Dark Lord pushing out here. But there's a man that's ACAP waiting here in the sight. He's gonna spawn Dark Lord. Takes the head of Dark Lord. And that leaves. Zack all alone in a 1v4 situation with the up. He gets one. He's gonna get the second. Not gonna get the second yet. It's very tough for him. The nade coming in. And then Zack all alone. 22 health points. And playing this perfection. MVP not giving him any chance whatsoever. And it's gonna be the first round here on board for the Malaysians. Oh, finally. Uh, um, Deville with some nice pickups there. Uh, if Deville had lost in... Uh from B uh, towards B-Tons to Sky Red, I think that definitely would have been Sky Red's round. So Deville playing the uh, crucial op role, solo holding B-Site. Very much, and taking down... Taking on two men, very two important frags, and now... What's he gonna do here? Aggressive, peak at mid, using the smoke to his advantage. And here's a man in lower dark, not gonna spot him out though, gonna nade in and fall back here, playing safe. As a Pretty risky here over at long, there's a huge far fight happening, and it's gonna be IMS coming out of that duel. Pretty, the worst for Weir, 25 health points, and it's gonna fall back. Meanwhile, the Tukon gonna get his head ripped off once more, but Deville, Deville doing huge work with the AWP. And that is exactly what MVP needed to do right now. He spots Zack, misses the shot though. Very standard setup coming out from MVP. That's, uh, Deville still going for the shots through the smoke. I'm gonna land any, as it's gonna be three men from Skyred making the way to short. And they have just one man to contend with over an A site, and that is gonna be uh, A cap here. Who did huge work earlier hiding in Goose and getting that frag. The bomb, uh, the C4 carrier the previous round, but now Skyred once more making the way over to A. I'm, I'm pretty interested to see if they have any you know, new fancy smokes ready, because ever since they opened up the uh, skybox and the A site, uh, at least on the YouTube, I've seen quite a few interesting smoke setups. So, the Molly comes in, A-Man takes on CLB, and A-Cap just on three health points though. He's still alive, he is still alive as the bomb is gonna go down, but Deville takes down Zack, and A-Man finds Shadow Walker, and A-Cap takes on Dark Lord, the last man left alive, and... Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, that is actually a complete wipeout from MVP, not losing a single man in the process, and Skyred. They did get the bomb down, they do have enough money to play with still, but MVP slowly trying to bring themselves back into this game here. Oh, some nice play from Deville again, and then Amen with the the great flank to just secure that round for MVP, um, picking off two there. And I think it was ACAP staying alive in Goose, just on three health points, but managing to get the final frag as well, so... Some nice couple of rounds coming in from MVP Gaming. They do tend to have a very slow start sometimes, uh, and then they kind of bring it back, but now Deville... He's done some huge work. Let's see if he can do anything more. There's a man just to his right there in lower dock, but uh, he's not going to spot him because of the smoke. Meanwhile, IMS takes on Zack. But Shadow Walk and CLB take down ACAP and IMS. And A side now is wide open here. And A man is all alone over an A. Deville running up to help his teammate out. Deville should get boosted here. Let's Yet see. again, MVP loses another challenge in long to Sky Red. That's two con though. Oh, takes a head off my deal and Deville misses the shot. He's down to 16 health points. This is looking pretty bad here for MVP. But Eamon though replies back with a frag of his own on the two con, making a 3v2 situation. As the bomb is gonna fall back to mid. Leaving one man over in long, that is Shadow Walker. Trying to make sure Deville remains over in long. And Eamon all alone here in B side. 
They're gonna be seeing some action really soon here. As CLB waits for Aimer to make his push, and he's gonna get taken down. Last man left alive, Deville. 16 health points, 3v1 situation, and this looks pretty impossible for him. As the bomb is gonna go back towards short, and they're gonna get the bomb down here. And Deville, though. What's he gonna do? CLB just waiting to spot him out, takes on Deville, and that's gonna be the round to Sky Red. They're getting, they are getting this long control every time they go for it. Uh, at least three rounds so far where they've pushed long and have been able to pretty much uh, destroy the CD setup over in long for MVP. Yep, and not just that, with MVP putting two players always holding close on long like that, mm -hmm. uh, when Sky Red takes that, they're getting two entry kills, and it usually becomes a 5v3, which is very much in favor of Sky Red at that point. So I really think MVP should adjust their play a little bit, but here they go again. Once more for the long play, but this time Skyred taking a little slow. My deal with the auto sniper, but uh, he's already down to 20 health points. Shadow Walker doing huge work with the AWP, tagging him early on. And that's a health advantage for Skyred. We got all of them in mid though, trying to go for mid control here. Flash is raining in. Eamon is holding that angle as Tukon is going to peek out, but Eamon running and spraying. He gets a double kill, but Dark Lord replies back. And it's now a 3v4 situation, but Dark Lord gets a frag onto Eamon, a Shadow Walker. I'm sorry, I think the Shadow Walker got a frag onto Deville, and that's going to be uh, massive here. Because 3v3 situation, but my deal just on 20 health points, what is he going to do? He's uh, the only man in B side. He's got the auto sniper. He's got a great position as well at the back of, at the back of uh, platforms. As... Uh, he should be seeing some action real soon here as uh, Skyred, we have Shadow Walker making his way over to uh, tunnels. As CLB takes down IMS. And Shadow Walker with the op. And he is gonna find my deal, and that's gonna be A Cap all alone in 1v3 situation. And he is so far away here. And he should be trying to hold on to his gun. As uh, it's gonna be round number seven here for Skyred. This is looking pretty, pretty bad for MVP because bear in mind, uh, Dorison, Dust2 isn't something, isn't a map that Skyred are very comfortable with. Um, I think that's what their manager told me. And considering how they're playing right now, I know it's still early in the game, but uh, I do fear for MVP gaming because the next map is going to be Inferno. And. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I think thus far, uh, Skyred, even if they're not. Uh, as comfortable on the map, I think their aim has uh, far surpassed MVP. Indeed it has, and uh, looking at the scores here, we do have my deal yet to open his account, he's still not got a single frag yet. And uh, if you look at the scores for Skyred, everyone pretty much equally, 7 frags in uh, Doctor and Zack, Shadow Walker though, top fragging at the moment is silver with 10 frags. And now, though, it's an eco run, and Eamon getting tagged down to 19 health points through the double doors. As Shadow Walker with that op is holding from T spawn, as it's gonna be my deal getting spotted out there in B. As Tugon takes his head off, they got all five members for uh, all five members of Skyred pushing into tunnels. They get one, they get two, they get all of them, and it's gonna be CLB finishing things up with a triple kill. And that's gonna be round number eight here for Skyred as MVP Gaming. They really need to try something different here. Yes, they do. Now, uh, Sky Red, I think they've won three rounds that were really crucial to them, um, in part due to the way MVP is holding and, and not able to hold um, long A. And let's see if, if MVP can change up their style a little bit. Maybe play even a bit more passive with just one person peeking trying to get that information. That's what I do. They're still doing the same old thing. Two guys in long, and uh, one in B, and two, two men near mid. C spawn, and uh, Deville flirting with danger there at mid, and he's gonna get tagged out. Meanwhile, Tukon takes on IMS as A cap and CLB gonna duke it on any second right now. The flashback coming in, but CLB not gonna take much damage here as it's a man advantage once more to Sky Red. I really like what Skyred are doing, they're just, just peeking and prodding MVP, trying to find where they're holding, trying to gather information, and right now, I know it's still very early here, but Skyred, they seem to know exactly what they want to do. They seem to have a plan for almost each and every round, while MVP, they're just reacting at the moment, they really have no answer 
for this T side play coming in from Sky Red. And here we go. It's once more the B play coming in. Tukon and Zach slowly walking in. My deal. Yet to open his account, it's lurking in B. He's gonna get fouled up by Dark Lord. It's the headshot coming in. And that's gonna be the B side here. Completely in control with Sky Red. The flashes, the smokes raining in as well. And it's gonna be the bomb going down as uh, Shadow Walker meanwhile finds Aemon. And it's all gonna be down to uh, ACAP and Deville to somehow try and hold on to the rifles here. And it's gonna be round number nine for Sky Red. My ideal must be crushed losing the B site like that because he had four players uh, or three players coming through the tunnels towards him and unfortunately he had a nade out but he would have loved to get one of those kills and, and finally put himself on the board. Indeed but uh, tough luck here as Deville and ACAP just trying to hold on to rifles but Tukon just waiting. Skyrim, they have so much money at the moment they really don't care if they're losing his guns. As, uh, Zach trying to get the final frag, but he should get found out. Sorry, Deville should be able to hold on his rifles, and they will be able to do that. But uh, money still pretty bad here for MVP, but they need to start buying up here. Just gonna go for the. Yeah, there's only four rounds left in, left in this half, and MVP should at least try for uh, three or all four of them if they want to have a chance left in this game. And looking at Skyrad, look at this play coming out. They're just rushing in to be here. No time being wasted as Deville. He's gonna get one. He's gonna get more though. Skyrad just pushing in here. He's gonna miss his shot. He's still alive here. He's still alive. Gets a flick shot on the two count. Gets one. Gets two. This is huge play coming in from Deville. And he is gonna try and take on Shadow Walker. But Shadow Walker gonna find him out. Shadow Walker still alive there. And he's gonna get another frag. This is huge play coming in from Shadow Walker. But it's gonna get finally found out by IMS. And it's gonna be Zach all alone here. And a 1v2, the bomb is dropped inside of B. And this could be the round that MVP would be looking for. One minute left on the clock. Zach can pretty much take his time here. That was a huge play coming in from Deville. A nice triple kill coming in the tunnels. Yeah, exactly. Um, that was just amazing play from Deville there. And, and hopefully that... Uh kind of play and that kind of momentum will help MVP uh, get a foothold back in this game. Sack with a nice oh, headshot. Oh my word, that was spectacular. Just walked into the crosshair, it took his head off, and it's all down to Eamon here. The pop flap pop flash coming in, but he's gonna get the frag on his Zack, and it's gonna be the third round. A very, very essential round for MVP, and uh, that was all in the veal. Shutting it down in B, but... Uh, it's going to be the round going the way for MVP Gaming. They do throw themselves a small lifeline. But nine rounds already in the T side. Skyred should be pretty happy already. Yeah, definitely. It's up to MVP to try and uh, answer back some of those rounds with a few of their own. Deville stepped up once. Let's see if uh, anyone else on the team can step up now. And that was a very surprising push coming out from uh, Skyred, if you ask me. Just to no, no nonsense B push coming out. Here we go. They're doing the same thing. Pushing it is short here. But the smoke gonna stop them in the tracks. But they're just gonna flash their way in. But uh, the counter flashes from the CT is just stopping that A shot push in the tracks. As uh, a lot of nades and smokes and flashes over here in mid. But it's gonna be CLB and Zach pushing their way through short. But Deville though, once more, doing huge work with the up, takes on Shadow Walker. Making it 4v4 situation. As uh, we got three men, three men pushing into short here, and it's gonna be A Cap. And Eamon. And Eamon just looking in Goose, that's his favorite position. He's been doing huge work from there. But the bomb is gonna go down. Eamon spraying through the smoke, not gonna catch Dark Lord. The bomb is gonna go down as Zach finds ahead of A Cap. When my deal takes on Dark Lord. As Zach. 3v3 situation as Tukon flanking in from CD spawn. Great flank coming in as Zach finds the veal. As the last man left alive, that's gonna be Eamon who's gonna spray it on Zach. And he could... Nope, he's not going to be able to go for the defuse. He's looking for the hunt, but uh, this is great play coming out from CLB. He drops down to CD spot and takes on Eamon. And that's going to be round number 10 for Skyred. Two more rounds remaining in this half. And uh, that was just Skyred overpowering MVP in the A site. Just brute forcing their way through the site. Yep, definitely. And that's, I think, really characteristic of Skyred's play. They, they will brute force rounds. They've made a strong statement in their T half and... Um, this map should be theirs for the taking unless uh, MVP can pull off something incredible. And MVP though, they're full eco here. They're gonna try and get some money for the last and final round. It's Dark Lord's gonna be seeing some action really quickly as ACAP comes pushing in. But Dark Lord finds one 
He gets a second, a Shadow Walker finishes things off. The last man left alive, Deville, he's gonna get caught up at 2 con. Easy round coming up from Sky Red. And it's gonna be the final round of the first half. MVP Gaming just on three rounds here. And uh, even if they get this final round, it's gonna be very, very tough for them. It's gonna be an uphill battle going into their T side. And now and look at the buy coming out. Swag 7 on IMS and Deville with the scout. And so a dual op setup coming out from uh, Sky Red though. As my deal once again gets tagged on a Shadow Walker. Shadow Walker tags on Deville as well. This man is not missing his shots. As Zach is going to make his way into long. He's backed up by his teammates as well. And CLB and Tukon. And A is wide open. There's just one man. It's only IMS with the Swag 7 inside the site. Now he has A cap to help him out as well. As Zach is going to take down Eamon. Just on three health points, but he's got he's done his job. Got the man advantage for his team here. As he's going to make the way into the A side. The flashes, the nades pouring into the A side. And we have A cap. He's lurking there. With the Flamas. As the Dark Lord takes on Davila. Molly pushing out. A cap, A cap getting burned alive. And finally, he's going to get a frag though, but going to get found out by Dark Lord. Last man left alive. That's going to be my deal. Who's going to get his head ripped off by two cons? AK47. And that is going to be 12 3 to Sky Red. And what a dominating performance coming up from the Vietnamese team. Yep, definitely. They made a, a, a very strong statement there. And um, it's going to be, it should be uh, just a bit more for Sky Red to take over this map and, and take the first map in the best of three. Indeed, and my game just crashing there. That, that happens every time it's the uh, ESEA uh, Go TV. I'm just going to restart my game. I don't know if yours crashed. <laughs> yes, it did as well. Yep, so. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be going live with the second half of map number one of the Asia-Pacific ESEA Open Finals. And that is, of course, between MVP Gaming and Sky Red. And Sky Red, what a dominating T-side performance coming out from them. And on a map which they're not very comfortable with, uh, that's what they mentioned to me when I used to speak to them regarding their, you know, their performances in the ESEA Open League so far. But right now, they are looking really, really, really strong at the moment. And here we go. It's going to be round number, sorry, second half here as Sky Red. That's what we're going to do. They, go, they got three guys with armor and Dark Lord with the kit as MVP Gaming. They spread all across the map here. And they, they really need to do something really special if they want to... Forget winning the map, they want to even, you know, make Sky Red break a sweat at the moment, because they're looking just in sublime form at the moment. Yes, they are, and and having watched a little bit of MVP playing uh, T-side on Dust 2, I think there are some, some weaknesses there that Sky Red could definitely take advantage of to close out this uh, map. Indeed, and it looks like M uh, Sky Red have definitely done their homework. They seem to be reading MVP Gaming like a book there. The CD site. Oh, but the flash coming in on Long and Zach is gonna get taken down. But Dark Lord replies back almost immediately with Frag. on a double headshot. Dark Lord is playing phenomenally well as CLB takes on Debil. Meanwhile, Dark Lord gets a triple kill. The bomb is dropped and CLB finishes things off by getting the final frag on my deal. And that was a complete shutdown over in Long. Dark Lord playing that uh, E side on A. To perfection there. That was fantastic from him, getting those three kills to shut down MVP on pistol. And uh, that's absolutely phenomenal play from Sky Red. This is pretty much, if you ask me, the beginning of the end for MVP Gaming, at least on this map. As uh, they're going to go for the Tech 9 armor buy. And uh, let's see how they do with this as Sky Red. Going for the long control, then falling back really quickly over to A side. And it's going to be Dark Lord. The Tech 9 train coming out, but Zack takes on A cap. And that's gonna stop that short push as uh, Skyrim are man up, Shadow Walker duking it out at mid, but he knows that there's one deal he doesn't want to take, and that is with the Tech 9. But it's gonna be Tukon though with the MP9, takes on Deville, and Imus with a great headshot, but uh, to no avail. This is gonna be the last man left alive, there's gonna be Eamon, 22 health points, he has his hands on a Tech 9, but he's gonna get taken down by Dark Lord, and that is gonna be round number 14 for Skyred, two rounds away from taking it to map number 2. Yep, and you've got to imagine that MVP's minds have to be on the, the next map already. I really don't see any way for them to even put a dent into Skyred on this map. Indeed, they're just running away with this, and uh, 
Well, there you have it. I was asking, you know, I was pretty much questioning the fact that it chose to see. Oh, Deville, though, opening things up with a great shot on Shadow Walker. And, uh, well, the man advantage here. But I've seen so many comebacks in the in the ESEO League, Doris, and that I wouldn't be surprised if MVP came up with one godlike performance uh, any time. They could still bring it back, but uh, it does look very unlikely. But still, that's true. These teams do have the potential to uh, make some magic happen, definitely. But Zach, though, equalizing things by taking out IMS, and it's going to be four v four. But the health on Dark Lord Two got pretty low at the moment, twenty six and eighteen health points, and. Uh, Ooh, but look at the push coming in from Long. CLB pushing in from Long. This could be massive here. He spots out Eamon. Eamon falls, and they know exactly where they're coming in. And that's going to be Tukon getting saved there by Dark Lord. Deville with the scout gets another frag on the Tukon. He gets another one on the Dark Lord. Oh. This is massive play, but Zach is going to say no, sir. That's as far as it's going to go. And that is going to be map point coming in from Skyred. And uh, Deville, though, valiant effort coming out from him with that buy. Neil's been doing a great job this game, uh, doing what he can with his aim and, and picking up these sniper rifles. Um, he has 16 kills right now, that's third most in the server, despite being on the, the clearly losing side. And that is indeed... And if you look at the rest of the team, yep. The Veal doing huge work. We had a few rounds like the CD side. The the third round they won on the CD side with the AWP where he got a triple kill in, uh, in B. So he has really been playing quite well for his team. But the remainder of his team is especially my deal. It's just on one frag. I mean... And if you look at Skyred though, everyone is very close to each other. 19, 17, 15 frags. And Tukon, the in-game leader in 11. But that's okay because the rest of his team are just decimating this MVP lineup and here we go short push coming out Eamon opening things at a frag and a great shot from Acap on a Zag but Dark Lord though this man has been on point he's gonna get a double kill but Deville with the scouts gonna get the frag and it's gonna be the last man left alive CLB is he gonna finish things off he comes out for, for pushing out he gets one 1v1 one one here and Davila jumping oh. shots cut whoa and he keeps his team alive here 15-4 that was brilliant a brilliant shot coming out from Deville I think that was that was four kills from Deville to win that round for his team. Indeed, and uh, he's on 19 frags. He's like the top second top fragger right now, right behind Dark Lord. And uh, well, I, I can only hope that he's able to inspire the rest of his team teammates to step it up as much as he has in this entire map so far. As uh, Skyred, though, first time we're seeing them go for Nico in a long, long time. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've even seen them go for an eco so far. But Zach, uh, oh my word, this is massive play from Zach. Gets a double headshot, picks up a Galil, and MVP gaming. They get to frag onto two condo, but 4v3. And now they got two Galils in the hands of Zach and CLP. As my deal duking it out over in B side takes on Shadow Walker, but it's only four health points. 3v3 situation. And Deville with the scout. What could he possibly do? His dog Lord takes out Eamon, and that's massive. The bomb is dropped here, and Deville goes for the shot, misses it. Gonna duke it out with Dark Lord. Dark Lord gets picked up by Deville. What a shot by Deville. That was inhuman, as it's gonna be a 2v2 situation. And CLB slowly making his way here. He, does he spot my deal? No, he doesn't. My deal just lurking in a the platform there. As, uh, he's gonna get spotted out. Deville all alone here. He's gonna get a head take. He's gonna take the head. Gonna take the head of CLB. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting how to English here. And Zach and Deville and Deville! Oh. oh my god, this man is just playing phenomenally at the moment. Stellar, stellar play coming out from Deville. Stellar play. He's playing so well. He's playing for, for two people right now, but that still only means MVP has five players on their team. I <laughs> know, I mean, he's, he's, top, he's tied for the top frags with Dark Lord. And you got to feel for him. And I feel he should just ditch the AK and just stick with the scout because he is playing out of his mind with that gun at the moment. As my deal, the opening things up, takes on Zach. And what a one tap from Deville at mid on a two con. This guy, this guy is just playing so well at the moment. And you got to feel for him. You really got to feel for him. That his team is five, ten rounds down. But uh, B side in control here. And A cap. But Shadow Walker gonna take the head of Eamon with the Deagle. 
And that's gonna be uh, actually the last man left alive at CLB Fault as well. That's gonna be Dark Lord all alone with the 5-7. He's got the armor as well. And I don't think they know where he is. The bomb is finally now making its way over the A side. But a 4v1 situation here. And this should be easily the sixth round here for MVP. Finally seeming to wake up, but uh, you gotta ask yourself, is this a little bit too late? Yeah, uh, not much of a chance here for Dark Lord. Um, MVP, this is a moment where they've got to be feeling a little bit better about themselves, you know? Uh, winning just a few of these rounds before the game ends, and, and Deville really showing up here. Indeed, and if he maintains this form going to the second map, and the rest of his teammate are able to, you know, kind of step it up, well, Skyrider definitely in for a challenge over in map number two, and that is going to be Dust uh, Inferno. And the thing about Skyrider are one thing I've noticed about this team, they really like playing on more open maps. Like, even though they say Dust 2 is the map which they're not very comfortable with, or if you watch them play on Cache or Mirage, for example, they they really like these open maps where they have more, uh, we can have more easier duels compared to, let's say, a more claustrophobic map like uh, Inferno, for example. Yeah, or, or Nuke or something like that. I was going to speak to the, the same thing, you know. Even though Skyred said they don't prefer um, uh, Dust 2, I still think this is a, a good map for them just because of how good their aim is. And we've seen that from how they've walked into sites. Indeed, and uh, it's quite interesting. Like, if you look at a team like NXL, for example, uh, from Indonesia, there's one thing about them are they, they really good at maps like Nuke and Inferno where there's so many angles to watch out for. They use the map to their advantage. And especially when they face off against a team like Sky Red uh, on the more open maps, that's where Sky Red's stellar aim comes into play. That's when you notice like how good these guys are when it comes to their aim. And uh, speaking of which, Zach opening things up with a headshot onto Deville. And that's a danger man taken out of the equation for MVP. Oh, and that I feel is... Pretty much the final nail in the coffin for MVP Gaming as it's slowly making the way over to the B side here. Eamon making his way to Flashman to come in, but he's not gonna get flashed as Shadow Walker gets a frag. And there's a great crossfire coming in. Shadow Walker gets one, gets two. Gonna, gonna, gonna get a third as Dogwood comes and takes on my deal. But it's gonna be IMS all alone here, and it's gonna be a double P coming in. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Skyred winning the first map 16 uh, 7, if I'm not mistaken. 16-6, I believe. 16-6, I'm sorry. And uh, there we have it. Uh, map number one going the way of Skyred very, very comfortably, although a valiant, valiant effort coming up from Deville uh, for MVP Gaming. And uh, it's going to be Skyred. One map up. They just need one more map to be crowned the first ever ESCA Asia Pacific Open Champions. And uh, with that, I'm just going to switch over and just wait for the next map to go live. We should be going live in the next five minutes or so, so don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a hell of a matchup lineup for you guys. So, what do you feel about that match? I mean, what are your thoughts about what we just witnessed right now? Um, I, I really think that this map uh, did often come down to aim duels, and also a big part of the reason that... Um, and when I say aim duels, I don't mean just raw aim as well, because both of these teams have demonstrated that they do have... Uh, the aim skill itself, but talking about those those challenges, especially the uh, two on two or two on three that often happened at long A, mm -hmm. uh, when MVP lost, I think four of the uh, four rounds due to losing two members on long A when they were holding close when MVP was playing CT side, mm -hmm. uh, Skyred's T side just uh, proceeded to get those two kills and then take over those rounds, and that really uh, hurt MVP's ability to try and hold on on their CT side and led to them uh, losing this game by quite a margin. If those four rounds had gone the other way, it would have been, um, what, I think 12-10 12, 12, that we would have been at uh, where this game ended here. If those four rounds had gone uh, MVP's way and they had been able to hold close on long, um, like I think they maybe should have if they, they played a bit better. Indeed, and... Uh if you look at it, like it felt like MVP were kind of waking up a little late in the you know, on the T side, but then you know you really do need more rounds than three rounds on your CT side, especially looking at the way Sky were playing. They never looked uh, perturbed at all. They were just going for this force buys, and then finally, when they did have a full buy, they just completely shut it down in the end. And uh, I really feel, I mean, as great as uh, Deville played that map, I think it was pretty much Sky Red not looking shaky at all, looking really, really strong at the moment. And for MVP Gaming, though, uh, 
Now it's a battle for survival. They gotta win Inferno and they gotta take it to map number three, which is Nuke. And for Skyrim, they should definitely be looking to close this off on Inferno. Because Nuke is definitely, in my opinion, I really hate having Nuke as a decider map. Yeah, yeah, it can be rough because uh, once you start on CT side, you just, you have to close out, what, 12, 13 rounds, and then it seems like the game is almost over. Um, and it, it's just this this really intense map in terms of, like, thinking about the, the round difference there. And um, I do think Sky Red could still pick up some rounds just based on uh, their ability to take sites and, and play T side just so well, but... Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely, it's it's not nearly as as much of a, a contested battle all the time that some of the other maps are. Indeed. So, with that, I am just gonna leave you guys some music. We are just waiting for the IP to give it out for the second map. As the I think all the players just be going for a break right now because that was quite an intense map in the end. And MVP would definitely be looking to kind of you know uh, talk to each other, probably try and you know forget what had just happened and then plan for what they're going to do against Skyred on map number two that's going to be Inferno. So my name is Blair and my co-caster is of course Dorison and we will be returning very very soon in the next five or ten minutes maximum five minutes. I'm going to leave you guys with some music and be right back. <laughs>